we think about predictability, why that matters to Ohio agriculture, um, the, the opportunity for us as we consider our advocating, where we want to advocate, and the fact that our that, that advocacy field has moved from the, the, the playing field has moved from the state house to the courthouse. And today so many of our battles are in the courthouse. And what we need every day is to understand what the courthouse might do. We try and play by what's right in the Ohio Constitution. And when, when things are legislated within that Constitution, it makes it very difficult to have that predictability that we need um, in farmers. So on behalf of the 80,000 Ohio Farm Bureau members, as well as the other organizations, and beside, on, on behalf of our uh, Ag PAC, Agriculture for Good Government, Government uh, PAC, we are so very proud to uh, endorse and support uh, Justices Pat Fisher, Justice Pat DeWine, as well as uh, Justice Kennedy's pursuit for Chief Justice of the Ohio Supreme Court. This decision that we made as an organization we do not take lightly. Uh, there was a lot that went into this. We had the opportunity to speak or listen to uh, the three justices speak when several hundred of our members came to, uh, to Columbus to be able to meet with our legislators, we had the wonderful opportunity to hear, hear the decisions, hear, hear how they apply the Constitution to the laws. As well, we had a, uh, a keynote speech from Justice Kennedy uh, that has inspired uh, our members uh, many times through. And they appreciate uh, the ability for them to stay and continue to stay on, that, um, on the Ohio Supreme Court and the importance to each one of those uh, that you guys remain in those positions. Uh, it's not to say that every decision goes agriculture's way, and we, we get that, and we, we appreciate that. We'd like them to, but they don't always. But the reality is, is that our members understand when those decisions do not go our way, they actually understand that those justices that looked at that and, and applied the constitutional law to those rules, they understand the reason behind it. We appreciate it. It allows us to take it back from the courthouse, move into the state house, and start legislating, you know, actively advocating on behalf of farmers uh, to change that legislation. So, um, at this point, I am going to introduce the justices. Justice uh, Pat DeWine has a strong commitment to furthering the rule of law. Through education, he is an adjunct professor at the University of Cincinnati College of Law, where he teaches appellate practice and procedure. In addition, he has taught undergraduate courses at the University of Cincinnati in Ohio, government and politics, and American courts. Justice DeWine has served at all levels of the Ohio judiciary. Prior to his election to the Supreme Court, Justice DeWine served for four years on the First District Court of Appeals, and prior to that, for four years on the Hamilton County Common Pleas Court. Justice Pat DeWine began his six-year term on the Supreme Court of Ohio on January 2nd, 2017, following his statewide election in November, November 2016. An excellent writer, Justice DeWine is known for the quality and thoroughness of his legal opinions. His opinions reflect his strong belief in judicial restraint and his respect for the constitutional roles of the other co-equal branches of government. Let's welcome uh, Justice Pat DeWine. Thank you. Uh, I, I want to thank the Farm Bureau and all the other groups for their support. Uh, I'm grateful for that. Uh, to me, it really symbolizes th three things. One is our respect for the rule of law and our commitment to applying the laws as written, not legislating from the bench, so people in the state have some certainty about what the law is. Second, uh, our strong commitment to defend the constitutional rights that all of us are guaranteed under the Ohio Constitution and, and under the federal Constitution. And third, the respect for the rule of law in creating a safe environment in the state. Because if you don't have safe neighborhoods, if you don't have safe communities, people don't want to invest, they don't want to do business. They, we, have, we have to have communities where people feel safe. So 
Uh, I just want to thank all the organizations for their support. We're, we're grateful to have it. We know this is going to be uh, a tough campaign, and we're glad to have you on our side. Thank you. Thank you, Justice DeWine. Justice Pat Fisher has dedicated himself to the practice of law for more than 30 years, an honors graduate of Harvard Law School and Harvard College. As a practicing lawyer, he tried cases throughout the country and was named to Best Lawyers in America, one of the top 50 lawyers in Cincinnati, and one of the top 100 lawyers in Ohio. He was routinely named to Ohio Super Lawyers. Justice Fisher began his six-year term on the Ohio Supreme Court on January 1, 2017, following his election in November 2016. Previously, he was elected to serve as judge on the Ohio First District Court of Appeals in 2010 and was re-elected in 2012. Let's welcome Justice Pat Fisher. Thank you, Agriculture. Thank you to all the other groups. I just want to say one thing. Thank you, Ohio, we need, but we need your support again. Because of you, I can stand here and say I have enforced the state constitution word for word, as well as the federal constitution, for almost six years, and that I will continue to do so every day that I hold this office. Because it matters that every Ohio citizen know its duties, its responsibilities, but more importantly, it's rights. And if we can do that, Ohio will grow in jobs, it will grow in safety, and it will grow in harmony throughout the entire state. So please, please remember to vote for Fisher in 2022. Thank you very much. Thank you, Justice Fisher. Justice Sharon Kennedy began her career in the justice system as a police officer at the Hamilton Police Department. After obtaining her law degree from the University of Cincinnati College of Law in 1991, Justice Kennedy ran a small business of her own as a solo practitioner. Prior to her term on the Ohio Supreme Court, Justice Kennedy served at the Butler County Court of Common Pleas Domestic Relations Division beginning in 1999. Justice Kennedy first joined the court in 2012, having been elected to fill an unexpired term. She was elected to her first full term in November 2014. In November 2020, Justice Sharon L. Kennedy was re-elected for a second time to a full term on the Supreme Court and is now seeking the Chief Justice position. Welcome, Justice Kennedy. Well, good morning and thank you. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Al, thank you for opening your home to all of us. And thank you to the organizations for your endorsement. As I think about the endorsement by the Ag Pack, it really heartens me to say thank you for your recognition of my position and statement that I will uphold the law as written, not rewrite it or legislate from the bench. You supported my rise to the Ohio Supreme Court in 2012 and my re-election in 2014 and 2020. With the pursuit to the chief seat, I appreciate your recognition that I have honored my role in government. To say what the law says, not what it should be. To ensure that your God-given rights as protected by the Ohio and federal constitution is protected against by the overreach of government and to ensure that this Ohio is our Ohio. Thank you so much. Thank you, Justice Kennedy. Thank you all the justices for being here today. Thank you for taking part um, in our process. And on behalf of the OPACs of Ohio Farm Bureau Federation, the Ohio Chambers of Commerce, the Ohio Business Roundtable, the Ohio Manufacturers Association, as well as NFIB Ohio, uh, we urge all people to support the candidacies of Justice uh, Pat Fisher, Justice Pat DeWine, and Justice Sharon Kennedy for her pursuit of Chief Justice this year. It is uh, extremely important to everything that we all do that we have a predictable court 
and we have a court that we can depend on every day. So again, thank you for your time, thank you for being here, and thank you for the justices.